I'm Sarah Blood, I'm an artist and we are running a neon sign making workshop at the Science Gallery. So yesterday uh, we were playing around with the glass and the material because everybody here is new to this technique and so we were looking at the limitations of the material and also experience levels and that has really informed the designs that we've been doing this morning. We're now just developing the designs and uh, seeing what happens. So the ribbon burner is around 700 degrees centigrade and that melts the glass just enough to bend it but not enough so that it's too runny. Uh, it's gone all right. Uh, it's quite hard to make exact angles I find so let's see what happens. Well it's supposed to be a table lamp, like a standard lamp. Um, I'm not sure if I can get these corners right though because uh, they'll be curved so maybe it looks like a table mushroom rather than a table lamp, but anyway. My drawing might be redrawn to look like whatever I've made at the very end of the day. Today everyone has been drawing designs on paper and then we're taking them onto the ribbon burner, heating up sections of glass tubing and twisting them and bending them into the shapes that uh, we want. A lot of effort goes into thinking which way I'm going to bend once it's melted and you've only a couple of seconds then. So if you haven't thought about it a lot beforehand, it all can go wrong. Take it out, bring your left hand up. That's it, right hand up to meet it. Okay, angles right. Hold it flat over the table. Yep. Are you happy with the angle? Yeah. Right, flatten it. Put both sides flat on, that's it. I have no design. I'm just doing. Because I, I figured if I had like a drawing like everyone else, I'd just be getting frustrated that I couldn't actually do it. I came in with high expectations, thought drawing, making words was kind of where we were, what we were going to do, um, and then saw how difficult it was having to design something that I thought was easy enough to make. Uh, but it's very enjoyable. I've had people coming in saying, right, I want to make I want to make a bar sign and I want to make it so that the letters flash on and off. And I was like, okay, do you want to have a play with the uh, materials first? It takes years and years to, to be able to do text. There's obviously a much longer learning curve than a three day workshop, but it's sparked an interest that I'd love to do more of. I think people think, yeah, it's a lamp, not a mushroom. So um, yeah, it's worked and I think it'll look great. When the tubes get taken away this evening, um, they'll be attached to something called a manifold where they'll pass 20,000 watts of electricity through the glass to heat it up and then pull a vacuum, making sure we get all of the impurities and the water vapour out of the tubing. We'll then backfill with a tiny bit of inert gas, either argon or neon, and seal it off. And then when the tubes come back tomorrow, we'll attach them to a transformer, pass 3,000 volts of electricity through it and they'll glow. So that's really exciting because they've worked really well this afternoon and we've got some really, really exciting designs. <laughs>